understand how we can optimize the intelligences of individuals in our schools, therapeutic and work environments, we have traveled to several prestigious universities to visit with three world-renowned authorities in the field of psychology who, through their research, are transforming our views about thinking, emotion, and creativity. with Howard Gardner, architect of the multiple intelligences theory, Daniel Goleman, author of the internationally acclaimed bestseller, Emotional Intelligence, and Professor Csikszentmihalyi, who developed the psychology of optimal experience called flow. To guide us in our learning about optimizing intelligences is Peter Salovey, Yale University professor and co-founder of the theory of emotional intelligence. Optimizing intelligences should be the goal of every teacher, therapist, and employer. By taking a broader view of what constitutes intelligence, we can create environments in which people's potentials are, are maximized. These new paradigms allow us to think about novel ways in which thinking, emotions, and creativity can be integrated. And all of this work is based on new findings that are emerging from the neuroscience and psychological laboratory. In lecture halls like this, in universities throughout the world, professors are preparing to teach psychology courses on intelligence and human development. The students who will take these courses all come from cultures where the prevailing belief is that the key to success in life lies in analytical problem-solving skills. What they and you are about to learn is that analytical intelligence is only one part of the puzzle. In fact, Emotion and passion play a much larger role in human growth and development than we ever imagined. We now know that intelligence is not a single entity as measured by traditional IQ tests. Indeed, there are multiple intelligences, and emotional intelligence plays an important role in determining life success. Research has shown us that achieving a state of flow is an important determinant of happiness and creativity by allowing us to take charge of our conscious experience and inner life. I'm proud to be your host for this journey of discovery. What we will learn may challenge your views of what constitutes intelligence. It may also help us to understand better ways in which educators can teach our children, psychologists can work with clients, and employers can create work environments that optimize creativity and problem solving. We will travel from here at Yale University to Harvard and to the University of Chicago in order to speak with three of the most renowned authorities in the area of optimizing intelligences. We will also look at the ways in which their new theories can be put into practice in the classroom and in the psychotherapist's office. 